What did I learn from his parents? Well, I learned the story about Nick Drake. Um, I mean, it's in the book. It's based on uh, Rodney and Molly's story. And they were very modest people. So when I, uh, I mean, when I, I, I got to, to know them, they, they could seem, you know, stereotypically British and, and you know, uh, on the surface, you know, uh, sort of, yeah, yeah, what you combine with being English, you know, uh, stiff upper lip and all that stuff. But, but when you, when you could let them to know better, uh, you discover that they were not only very uh, nice people, uh, very, I mean, uh, yeah, very good people. Uh, they were, uh, they were also very good storytellers. They had a story to tell, and I think they have waited for someone to come by to to tell the story to. When I entered Farley's, uh, there was something that struck me, and it was, I mean, I would call it pain. You know, it's a very nice uh, house, very big house, many windows, very beautiful, uh, very strange furniture, so, or, you know, it was mixed together from, you know, they have been in the Far East, so there was uh, all, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but there was this pain, and Nick Drake was everywhere, you know, in this house. And his music room, where he, he used to uh, listen to Bach and write songs, it, it was there, and they, it hasn't been really touched for all these years. I mean, it was, I was, it was five or four, uh, he, he, he died in 74, and I was there in 79. So it was for five years, it's just the room was there, you know. I immediately knew that I was, I mean, that this was the stuff. When I, when, when I left Farley's, uh, they, 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 uh, they drove me to, I think it was to Wolverhampton or Birmingham. I, I knew that this, this was really interesting. I mean, I didn't leave there without anything. I, I left with a, with a very uh, interesting story. If you go to Tamworth and Arthur, it's a beautiful village. Very, uh, you know, Farley is, uh, is a beautiful house with a big English garden next to, to a field. And it opens up, you know, this beautiful English country, you know, uh, countryside with, with stone hedges and uh, and there was, I mean, it was in the autumn, so there was no cows. There were no cows, but there were fields and hills and there were small rivers running through, you know, the landscape. It was, uh, I mean, um, if, if I was brought up there as a poet, I, I, it, it would be natural for me to use uh, the word sky, river, uh, hill, uh, a lot of, you know, words with poetic connotations in it. So uh, it's a beautiful place.